Hello and welcome. My name is Renee Thomas and I am a construction software specialist with Sockeye Consulting. Uh, we're going to take a closer look at the analytics that are included in Sage Construction Management software. Um, so on your screen you'll see we're in the analytics section. We arrived here through our sidebar. You go down and you click on analytics and ta-da, you're here. Um, so we'll start off with, uh, this is the tabs that will give you all the different sections where you can pull reporting from. So favorites, you can take any of these items and you can favorite them and they'll appear in this list. So generally your often used reporting or dashboards, um, can be kept here for quick access. Um, they have an overview section as well as revenue based reporting, cost based reporting, vendor reporting, labor reporting, equipment. Um, there's other items that are outside of that, particularly you're looking at like construction management and change order analysis, and then you have any custom items that you've created. Um, so we'll start with the overview section just to give you a kind of deep dive into things. So for this, we'll start off with dashboards. Dashboards are entirely customizable by you. So you can create any kind of dashboard you want to. Um, it does take a little bit of knowledge of the system to create these items um, but as a general rule they are customizable um, for each individual user so if we click on summary overview you'll see a new dashboard pop up you guys can probably remove the circling items and here's our dashboard. So this is a summary overview of the financials. It gives you kind of a breakdown of all the numbers regarded, uh, regarding your project currently. Um, it gives you both in a number format, which is almost like an Excel spreadsheet, as well as with images that kind of give you a very visual representation of where your items are um, currently coming up as. So you have both your revised contract value, value uh, as well as gross prime invoices and your revised cost budget as well as gross cost to date. Um, you have your invoice totals by job cost code, which breaks it down so you can kind of see what cost codes are really the bulk of your work. And then it gives you a full breakdown of everything. So these dashboards make it really concise, simple. And for those visual people, it's right there in front of you. You can see it, you can understand it, and it's a quick glance at where you're at financially as well as you can go down to your in, uh, your analytic reports. So these are always going to be really um, good for your operations team because while accounting in your Sage Intact product um, covers a lot of this reporting using the data that they have already, what Sage Construction Management has been able to do is take all that data, have it be exactly the same in their system, but make it work where its reporting is done in a way that operations team Teams can really use it and it really speaks to them in the way that they need to see the breakdown of numbers. As you can see, data is refreshed every 30 minutes. So, so this is analytics. This is the contract invoice and cost overview, including ERP job to date costs. Um, these uh, reports are not as uh, customizable. It's possible for us to get um, a creation of a report that you need specifically, um, but they're just not really customizable in the system. But they are also able to be exported as Excel files that can be manipulated if there was something specific that someone was looking to just show. Um, you can include both uh, prime and sub invoices as grosses as well, um, so that we understand entirely what's going on with the project. So as you can see, it does the breakdown. This is done by cost code. There's many different ways that you're able to do that as well. And then on the second page, it gives you all the totals of everything. So these reports are easy to print, easy to review, and easy to keep track of um, for each of your projects or even on a multi-project um, kind of situation. So you can do it by single, but you can also do multi-project. So there's just like a wealth of information and it's very easily accessible within the Sage Construction Management System. I hope this gave you guys a pretty good view of how it is to work within the analytics and the dashboards of uh, Sage Construction Management. Have a great day.